Great, wonderful. Well, I am here, Cindy Sheffield, which I obviously announced earlier, but I'm here to spotlight the Colonnades, um, which is a, a Sunrise Senior Living community. And Sunrise Senior Living is actually an international company that has uh, 300 plus communities in um, the United States, in Canada, as well as the United Kingdom. And we are also sponsored by UVA Foundations, and we are a continuing care retirement community, which uh, is a full continuum. But a lot of times it's like, what is that? What is a full continuum? And uh, what we think it is is a complete community. It basically has one-stop shopping. It's all, you, um, all levels of living, plus we have rehabilitation and recovery programs. And, um, and in our community, which is this picture right up there, the front of that, um, you can see we have about 260 people who live in independent living, as well as almost another 100 that are uh, uh, in, living in our assisted living, memory care neighborhoods, as well as guests in our rehabilitation and recovery programs. And what I'd like to say is that everything about the colonnades actually speaks to convenience, comfort, and privacy. And um, the idea of a well-rounded day could actually mean just about anything to our residents except household chores. That's one of the reasons they move in is because really our residents typically are tired of home maintenance. The, it becomes overwhelming to them. They actually uh, are maybe not cooking for themselves or they're really tired of cooking. They might have some trouble with driving or they're not crazy about driving at night. They may uh, end up being just isolating themselves and being lonely. Or they just make a decision to enrich the quality of their lives. We have people who come to see us now and who move in because they had really bad experiences with how they ended up caring for their loved ones that it wasn't that great of an experience. And so they're saying, I'm not doing this to my children. And so they start looking and, and uh, looking to uh, move into the community. Um, I can tell you I've been there for about 14 and a half years. It's wonderful, wonderful, beautiful community. The energy in it is just fabulous. And the biggest benefit, um, and there's many benefits for moving into the community, but the one that I see the most and that is really kind of an intangible thing. It's just the way people blossom when they move into a community. Because it's a real sense of that. The energy, the interactions that people have with each other um, is just amazing. Um, and I, I work in it and it's just, I love it. Just going in, I can't walk out of my door to go to the restroom without everybody saying hello or there being a lot of interaction. So it's really a, a beautiful experience. Um, the colonnades, really, I should say, they, they eat together, they play together. It's really like a cruise ship, and we hear that a lot. They have a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. We're a little uh, village in and of ourselves. We have, um, we have a lot of a bank. We have a postal area. We have our own dining room, our own doctor. We even have our own bar. And we have happy hour twice a week and uh, discount the prices, and there's a real social buzz bring in a lot of professional entertainment and musicians. I can tell you if residents at the colonnades are bored, it's because they choose to be. There's certainly a lot of things that go on. Um, just to point out unique attributes of the community that we really feel that there's a lot of flexibility around um, the colonnades, and there's just a few that I'm gonna point out today, is that really that residents get to live life on their terms. They um, can be as active as they want or, or not at all. They can eat in our dining room, or they can get the food to go, or they can have it delivered. Also, when it comes to care, when our residents start to need some extra care, like assisted living, then they have the ability to hire home care services and pull, and pull that in. And, and I know there are a lot of people in the, out here that are providing services to our residents. Also, our financial options are, are flexible. We, you can pay you know, just a monthly rental. Entrance fees are not mandatory. And if you want to lower what your monthly fee is, we have four options that you can buy it down. 
And our medical clinic, we're so lucky that we have the University of Virginia Geriatric Medical Clinic there on site with Dr. Diane Snustead, who is a renowned gerontologist here in town. And her office is open five days a week, um, and it's fully staffed. So residents love just being able to walk down the hallway to their doctor. Although the flexibility is if the people live here in the, call, in the Charlottesville area, they don't have to switch. They can keep their own physicians. It's not, it's just a convenience. Accessibility as well. I mean, our location, we are close to everything, but we're tucked away on 59 beautiful acres. And it's, it's like we live in the country. Who all know, does not know where the Colonnades is located? Raise your hand. So just a few of you. Great. Well, you're new. Well, we'll, well I wanted just a personal invitation, right, to come out. We'll get you there. We're, we're really close. Now, how many people have not been to the Colonnades? Raise your hand. So a number of you. Well, I want to put out an invitation to anyone who wants to, to come. Mary Ann, right over here in the striped shirt there, my other co-partner. We'd love to have you out, show you the community. Um, in, in, and if we have time and it works out in everyone's schedule, we could even have lunch. You could get to, a feel for what the food is like. Transportation, I just want to talk about transportation. It's huge to allow our residents accessibility outside of our uh, little village. Um, we six days a week with one hours, with one day, not one hour, one day's notice, uh, we can get our residents pretty much anywhere in the Charlottesville area. And um, we have scheduled trips to shopping centers and restaurants and concerts and theaters and just lots of other excursions that go on. And the last thing about accessibility I want to mention is a lot of people may not realize that um, our community has direct admission to all levels of living. So that means you don't just have to come through independent living in order to live at the colonnades. We do admit people directly into our memory care neighborhood, into our assisted living, into the uh, nursing care, if, and into especially our rehabilitation and recovery program. We have more people outside of the colonnades that actually come through there and rehab. Um, our residents have first priority, and so we look after them, and when spaces are available, then we allow um, those entries in. Now, does any, I'm going to end there. Does anyone have any questions?